hot mic again. Uh, okay, so guys, listen, like it, like, uh, subscribe, and uh, comment below. <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay, so we we spoke a little earlier about uh, the case for the Olympics. I think this is a little bit easy to argue. So, <laughs> what, would, what would be your case against the Olympics in the middle of of what's going on in 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 twenty twenty one and this is 2021 right yes okay and the we olympics were supposed to be last year that's right okay right so It'll they're like they, yeah okay so what 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 are your 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 cons for the olympics with the things considering <laughs> considering what's going on oh, i guess number one is there is a pandemic going yeah no <laughs> kidding man yeah there's a pandemic going on and there's not enough vaccine for it they are not enough doctors not enough nurses. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! You know what's so? You know what? Would, what not safe enough for, I mean, like, know, is the travelers. thing that, that, that just makes this blows my mind is that you saw what happened in New York, in New York, right? And like, what happened in New York? It, it happened again in like Texas, and then it happened. It happened in Italy, and then we saw it happen. In, of course, I mean, it probably happened in China, but they'll never tell well, us. And so you're happened, referring to them. He's out opening things up while no 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 just 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 seeing the the medical establishment get overwhelmed oh sure 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 yeah so we saw italy what happened yeah yeah so and like you've seen this happen over and over it's happening in india it's happening in osaka right now (laughs) and and it's it's like you see this happening and and like if you're not in that area it's really easy to say you know what let's just go on with the olympics but if you're in that area and and like you know that if you catch a cold, you can't go to the hospital. Right. That's, I mean, when when they're basically, I mean, and again, another thing people have to remember is that, look, you don't live in you don't live in Tokyo, Osaka. Okay, like just just understand that. Like you have you you've lived in Tokyo. Have you lived in one of those cities? I live in Osaka. Yeah. Like Osaka is you you can kind of sort of get away with it. You might have a little bit bigger a place, but Tokyo. Like there are people that live in a, a house the size of my bedroom and it's a full yeah. family. Yeah. Like, and when you tell people they have to stay inside, like be inside eight o'clock, there's nowhere to go. Like you <laughs> three or four people in a small room and you, yeah. you can't go anywhere. That's tough. That's tough, man. Is And they keep asking people to do this over and over and over. And, here the sentiment is like, hey man, if we got to keep doing this, just just not do it, just give it up, because they've they've had three or four. Uh, not how many? They don't call them lockdowns. They call them like uh, emergency, emergency uh, yeah. yeah, emergency uh, restriction. I guess, I guess that's the best way to, to to translate it. And like these, they're tough, man. Like you tell people, restaurants close at seven thirty, eight o'clock, and it's just go to work, go to school and go back home that's tough that's tough especially when you live in a small place well but I that's mean, that's a con for people there so go ahead well i think like an interesting i think you bring up a good point in terms of you look at cities like new york like i guess well i guess areas because it was all over all over italy all over yeah you were saying like i guess california as well so it's interesting imagining while New York was going through yeah. all of its all of its trouble with the yeah. hospital, the ventilators, America, and all the other America things. trying like, to have the Olympics. But they're yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were having the Olympics in New York also. Oh like, my that, God, man! That would have been like people of, in people in America absurd. would be like they'd be more blunt about it. They say f the Olympics. Yeah, I mean, they like, yeah, exactly. It's well, like, at least I should it, say that people in people in New York would say that. But I mean, you know, California, California was dealing with the with the virus and wildfires and who knows all these other disasters were happening. Like, oh, let's just also have the Olympics. The Olympics also, like well, in then, Los then, Angeles. Of course, that, of course, that brings up the, the disparity in Americans, because, I mean, nobody really there's no consensus of opinion. So you, you'd have people in places that are relatively unaffected saying, oh, they're whining. Just let's just do it. So yeah, but that's that's America. Well, America's a little bit different. I mean, I guess like on the on the flip side, I guess we could have talked about this in the in the positives as well, the positive aspect. I mean, the the another benefit that the that that the Olympics has is that they can model it after 
some of these other major sports events that have occurred during the pandemic. Whether yes. It's the NBA, the NFL, whatever other uh, professional sports. I think maybe uh, uh, I want to say other 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 major sports events have occurred over the past year that they can model it after. But I want to say all of those examples were local. So this idea yeah, that you're that's bringing bringing you're, athletes from different bring, countries that's exactly. a, that's a problem. You're, you're specifically bringing that's people from all over the world. That's a problem. Even it, though you're not keeping the fans in, yeah. but you're bringing a lot of people. You're bringing and, a lot of producers. It, it, you're you almost a lot need, of athletes. You're bringing a lot of trainers. You're bringing a lot of coaches. You're yeah. bringing a lot of people in. Yeah, yeah it's and almost like you need a, a quarantine. Airports. Yeah, it's, you might need a yeah. quarantine for t- two weeks after the Olympics before you send everyone home. Right. And yeah. And so, hey, you know, it's possible that the virus is cured in the next month and a half. Possible. It's possible that the virus uh, I, I think, I, honestly, I think with this virus, I think that this is something we're going to be dealing with for five, 10 years. I honestly well, the believe other, that. Well, honestly the, other believe that. Go ahead. the other sort of weird negative is that I, I think I saw an article this morning about how one of the big fears is that you're actually inviting a nexus of all the variants of the virus to come together at the same yeah. place. So like the South African, you know, the, the whatever, the Indian, the British, the whatever, all of these different yeah. variants of the virus are gonna come in. Yeah. And we just don't know enough. That's right. I was, I was talking to someone the other day is that, uh, you know, someone who works in, uh, in, in, in pharmaceuticals, and he was saying, like, we are we are living a, a you know, a phase Experiment. three clinical trial, right? Yeah. Like, yep. we are we are the clinical trial. Like, yep. we, we weren't able to put all the the stuff, you know, all the viruses and the vaccines, or sorry, but we haven't been able to test all the vaccines fully. Mm-hmm. We are the test. What people yep. don't recognize is right now we are the test case. So any side effects, we don't know what's going to happen. Like, what happens if if people that are vaccinated are all come together like sure all these athletes mo- are going yeah. to be vaccinated but how are these people going to interact with one another what what are oh what gosh are what do you mean how are they going to interact what are you talking about how they're going to interact you know what happens in the olympic village you know what happens <laughs> like that's a problem that's that's why is that's like, why we can't leave the virus now exactly yeah. like but that's the thing it's like we've got what happens if someone who's vaccinated with the novavax virus is is interacting yeah. with the moderna virus is it, with this variant, with this yeah. again, I don't know. I don't know anything really about and, it. And, and of course, is, you're talking about really well, a very healthy host. So they're not going to die from the host. They're, they're not going to get really sick and, and immobilized from the virus, sure. but there might be great carriers of it, well, right? We don't, we don't yeah, know. Again, we don't know. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And so, you know, who knows what's going to happen when you mix these things together and mm-hmm. when you mix whatever, like these variants together, maybe they create a super, super sort of resistant form of the virus, <laughs> you know, yeah. who knows, right? But at any rate, again, I don't want to feed too much into conspiracy theories, but just this concept that you're bringing all these different people yeah. together when the virus itself hasn't even been, un- it's not under control. It's That's not right. even under, like, we, it's not even close to being under control. Yeah. We're, we're stitching together the treatment at the moment and the fact that the host country itself is only, I think, what is it, less than 5% vaccinated? And oh, no, it's terrible. Their target, it's terrible. The target terrible. is less than five, is like 5% by the time the Olympics happen. It's, it's like single digits. All I know is that it's single digits. I know that Korea is hurting. I think Asia itself is hurting in terms of being able to get, uh, to get virus uh, vaccines. And so, you know, I'm thinking from a month from now, like, you know, like basically there's like the fact that Japan's still under a state of emergency. Yes. And it's unlikely that, you know, again, it's not going to wipe it out in the next month or so. No. no. So you have to come up with all of these protocols that, that are constantly going to be shifted. Like, I feel like it's no. going to be chaotic. I can't imagine that we're even going to get those high performances because, you know, athletes, I suspect, are pretty high tuned. But if you're worried about your health, if you're worried about like, well, and, and if you're worried about all there are a lot of athletes that, that, that you've, you've heard about LeBron, protocols. 
forget about LeBron James. He's been really secretive about when he's dodged questions about taking the vaccine. A lot of these athletes probably don't want to take it because they think that it's going to affect their physical performance. Sure. So, sure. so, I mean, and, and all the facts you got out, that's the thing. Again, we're under this experimental phase. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, again, I trust in the medical community and that they are not going to put things that are actively going to yeah. hurt people. But, the but they're is, still, they're still gathering information. Yeah. It's that's, that's, they're Absolutely. still, they're still like, learning. We're still, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're using the best information that is available. And unfortunately, yeah. the, the sad fact of the matter is, you know, medicines, they evolve over time. And so, you know, people were giving each other cocaine and <laughs> like, we're, well, we we're using Oxycontin, like less than a decade ago, we we're giving people heroin, like this, this super, super addictive substance that was basically creating an opioid crisis less than within this decade, you know? So like that's that's all we need to know. Like we, we were we were doing that, I guess. Like or you know, we the meta, uh, you yeah. know, figurative we have been we're doing that for years and years uh, under the guise of medicine. That because we thought it was an effective treatment, it turns out we were poisoning people. You know, oops. <laughs> and so and so yeah, like we're creating addicts. Yeah, yeah, we're creating yeah we're creating like a bunch of addicts. Um, but so. I don't see, like, as far as uh, other cons, I, like I said, I, I just feel like, you, could, you know, like you said, the, the LeBron angle, I think, is also a different angle. But, but, well, but, but, but I, think that, I think the LeBron angle the, is that the, why, why it's important is because I don't know if he's the minority or the majority. He might be the majority. He yeah, might be, he especially, is. especially for the older athletes. May not want to go, but they may well, I mean, feel compelled because of if the, you're if you're a younger athlete, itself. like you, you know that your youth can get you through this, right? Like, okay, I'm I'm 25, I'm in my prime, fine. But LeBron's what 36, 37, 38. Sure. So he might be 38. So he's thinking, I'm at the tail end of my career and my performance. He's probably, I mean, he sleeps in like a what do you call those little high those chambers. Sure. Hyper yeah, he gets he spends like millions on massages and treatments and training, and he's I mean he, he's a guy that probably has three people analyze his meal before he eats it every morning. So absolutely. So absolutely. I mean I mean I mean you can't you can't really I mean you'd like to think yes you should take it because everyone should take the vaccine, but if you're at the tail end of your career and any little small tweak takes something off of your career, that's costing you millions hundreds of millions of dollars and and it's just i mean it would it would help if we had assurances that the vaccine was safe and effective but you said phase three or phase three clinical trial around the world right now yeah. real time well, i mean but that's the thing it's like but we're also we're also living in a world where i think there are what eight vi vaccines there are yeah. basically eight vaccines that are being used in the world and so that's what i'm saying in terms of we we don't know yeah, what the side effects of all of these things are, and then we're bringing them all together in one yeah. place. And I just feel like you factor that in with the athletes themselves; they are thinking about it. Yeah, the the world is thinking about it. It's going to be like you know, fans are not going to be there. Well, think think about think about the countries like New Zealand that have this totally under control. I think I think the next domino to fall is going to be some countries saying, you know what, Mass we can't boycotts. do it. What well, I don't yeah. think it's going to be a boycott. I think it's just like we don't feel safe sending our like if you who who is the the lady that's I I don't know the the prime minister of New Zealand. I know she's a, a woman. I know she's lady. Jacinda Ardern. Yeah, she's doing it. They're doing. Yeah. I shouldn't say she's doing. New Zealand is doing a very good job under her leadership. And I cannot imagine a situation where they're sending 100, 200, 300 athletes to Japan and then having them come back and intermingle with the population. They, they, no, no, you can't have that. Like, and if, and in the, the other end of the spectrum, if you're a place like India, like, of course you'd like to send your guys, but do you think that, that people are going to be, there was not going to be some sort of discrimination against Indian athletes in the Olympic village? Of course there will be. That would go for any place that's going through like these outbreaks, right? So, I think you, I think you're just going to start seeing some places say, maybe it's just not a good idea for us to send our 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 athletes yet. Maybe you should well, push it back, 
And I think so that's what thing. I think that's what might, but it, we'll get to that. But go ahead. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, like, I feel, it's interesting because, like, as we talk about this, I keep thinking about other positives or other sort of other interesting wrinkles that could be conceived as positive. But like, with regard to, with regard to what other countries are doing, it would be interesting if, again, I, this is speaking very idealistically. If the Indian delegation of people went to Japan, and I, I don't know how it's going to be organized, but then they saw how New Zealand was dealing with their the, with their athletes health wise, and the U.S. Like I feel like all these maybe these groups could come together either even beforehand or beforehand. The well, they should have. Done. The problem is they should have there done should that have six months yeah. ago. <laughs> there, there should have that's been a worldwide problem. coordination. That's but right. That's the thing. Like maybe that's another sort of possible positive spin i guess like a lot of the positives are more potential and the negatives yeah. are all real but like, well remember we're not sending our, our 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 most brilliant minds to the olympics now are we we're sending our we're, we're sending our we're most spend, we're but, sending precious assets yeah. to to the olympics and so and it's a world it's the world stage so i suspect that if this is going to happen and the countries agree that this is going to happen then maybe it's it's maybe it's already happened, but maybe yeah. through the IOC or through the organizing committee. Yeah, but um, we, we, we were talking about the IOC. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen through the IOC because there's so much incentive for them to, to have the Olympics because they want their money. I but think all it's all the more for them I, to do it, right? Like, based, I, either, like I said, either yeah. the local Japanese chapter of the IOC or the international IOC, they may, it's, it behooves them for all the countries to come together again the thing is i have not heard anything about that yeah so and i think it's because the having the olympic itself is still on the table yep that's the problem well, but, but, that, that, but I, I would say it is but the the reason why i kind of doubt that is because right now it's it's people at the it's like the IOC officials and it's like the prime minister of Japan. They're the ones saying, let's do it, let's do it. But even I, I saw the news like two days ago, like the CDC released like a guidelines. They said, like, y'all can't have the Olympics without doing this. Like yeah. that was like the second story so, in the news. Like they so I think the CDC I, says, suggests you do all of these these preventative measures. And if you don't, yeah. I think so. The other negative is this chaos, right? So basically, this 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 optimistic, uh, optimistic sort of framework that we're talking about in terms yeah. of preparedness, it's not happening because, like you said, it's the CDC coming out and saying, "You guys, like this is a bad the, idea." The real They're basically CDC, come, the the actual right, the, proper CDC, not the not the right. yeah, as yeah, the, the <laughs> CDC coming out and saying like. Yeah. Hey, this is not a good idea. No, just indicates that the world is not on the same page in terms of yeah. we're moving forward with this and we're going to do it in the safe possible way. It's like the CDC, is like, wait, you're doing this? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait you guys this. are still serious like, about this? <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. so yeah. for sure, like, I, but, but yeah, so I think that's the, yeah, I, I it's, it's, I feel like that's the, that's the, the the argument for why this is really bad. All right, all right. Well, we'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll wrap it up in a bow there. All right, Mike. It's nice talking to you. <laughs> all right, guys. Remember, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I gotta. <laughs>